fairly simple questions. Who briefed the congressman? Well, the briefers were, I was told by some of the congressmen uh, that there were CIA people in this briefing, uh, as well as uh, the chairman uh, of the Transportation Committee, uh, the, the uh, Transportation Department, uh, Norman Netta, uh, Tommy Thompson of uh, Health and Human Services, the director of the FBI, Mr. Mueller, and the Attorney General, John Ashcroft. Okay. And let's just put some things in context for the audience. We have known for some time that the Taliban government uh, in Afghanistan has been giving protection to Osama bin Laden for some long period of time. We also know that the leader of the Taliban uh, did his best today in a statement to a Pakistani newspaper, as did Mr. bin Laden, to try to place some distance between his regime, his government in the capital Kabul and Mr. bin Laden say they had no idea what he was doing and he operates as an independent. But the, the, the Taliban's been under tremendous pressure before uh, to cooperate with the United States, uh, either in expelling bin Laden from Afghanistan, which is very difficult to penetrate, and thus make him more vulnerable to, uh, to international authorities. And on this question of whether it may or may not, may not be over, Linda, c can I ask you to, to maybe put some meat on, on, on those bones, if it's at all possible, because I have no idea what any briefer might mean at the moment. It's such a general statement. I, I tried as hard as I could to get meat. It just wasn't given to them, Peter. Uh, I, I asked, for example, other forms of attack. Uh, what are we talking about? Uh, biological warfare, other places. And both, uh, this is a Democrat and Republican I just got off the phone with, both said they were simply told we don't know what, when, or where, but you shouldn't have a false sense of confidence. This may not be over. And do you think they were, they were making a reference to the current spate of operations that we've seen in the last day, or to the general notion that people are interested in attacking the United States? They were making reference to the current operations uh, that we've seen over the last day or so. There's a, there's a sense of nervousness uh, that there could be another shoe to drop. They would not uh, tell them whether they have any hard information to lead them mm. to make those, uh, to, to raise those concerns, uh, but that was the concern that they raised. Okay, well I know you and, and, and you on our behalf will want to get back to your sources and see if you can pin them down any further on that, because that's, uh, that's quite an astonishing... Who does? We'll just leave Peter Jennings and the ABC's coverage there and go to Washington, where a short time ago, Prime Minister John Howard had this to say. Coming along, uh, I can only say again on behalf of the Australian people how incredibly uh, distressed uh, I am and I know uh, all of our fellow countrymen and women are about the terrible events uh, in the United States, uh, particularly in uh, New York and Washington uh, over the past 36 hours. I've had the opportunity of conveying, as you know, on behalf of the Australian nation to the President, our feelings. This morning I had the opportunity of attending uh, a special sitting of the House of Representatives in the Senate and I did have the opportunity of going onto the floor of the Senate chamber and in particular expressing my condolences to um, the two senators uh, from New York, including Senator Hillary Clinton. And it was an opportunity also in discussion with the Speaker of the House of Representatives and uh, the majority leader in the Senate, Senator Lott, uh, and the minority uh, leader in the House of Representatives, uh, uh, Senator, uh, Mr Richard Gephardt, uh, and many other members of Congress to express our very deep sense of condolence, our empathy, our compassion for the American people in this very, very difficult set of circumstances. I've also indicated that uh, Australia will provide uh, all support that might be requested of us by the United States uh, in relation to any action that might be taken. Uh, like everybody else, I'm hopeful that those responsible will be hunted down and uh, treated in the manner that their despicable behaviour deserves and uh, brought to justice uh, as to what is happening on that front uh, you're probably as well informed on that as i am but uh, it is a terrible moment in uh, american history it has implications for other nations nobody should imagine that they're immune from this australia is not immune from this kind of possibility and anybody who suggests that australia is uh, uh, somehow rather different and that precautions 
taken by other nations don't need to be taken by Australia and Australians are deluding themselves. The ease of travel, the ease of communications, the globalisation of uh, so much of the world now means that nobody is immune from the possibility of this kind of uh, outrage and all of us have to take that on board in many respects yesterday marked um, the end of a, an era of a degree of innocence following the end of the Cold War and a decade in which uh, it seemed as though things which had a which posed a continuous threat were put behind us but uh, regrettably uh, we now face the possibility of a period in which the threat of terrorism uh, will be with us uh, in the way that um, the threat of a nuclear war was around for so long before the end of the Cold War. I think it is as bad as that, and uh, I don't think any of us should pretend otherwise. What's your latest information on any Australian fatalities, and when do you intend to... Well, the, the, the best information I have, uh, Nigel, is uh, three confirmed. There were two on one of the aircraft coming out of Los Angeles, uh, and there was one person identified as having been killed who was working in the World Trade Center. Now, I'm not suggesting that that's the limit of it. I, 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 we would all hope that's bad enough, but we would all hope there wouldn't be any more, but we have to recognize that there could well have been a lot of Australians uh, working in the Trade Center. There could well have been other Australians on the aircraft. There was a concern, I think I mentioned it yesterday, about some uh, defence personnel at the Pentagon, but they are both safe and well. Well, there's an... I mean, I'm, I'm not... Um, I'm not aware of any confirmed fatalities beyond the three that I've mentioned. When will you return home? Mm. Well, I'm, I'm talking uh, uh, diplomatically and otherwise I'm, we haven't been requested to provide any uh, military assistance, but uh, obviously if we uh, were asked to um, help, we would. Uh, it is very important at a time like this that America knows that she's got friends. Well, we haven't been asked to. What I'm saying, Alice, Alison, is that uh, we would provide support within our capability. Back in 1991, when the Gulf War was then times the Gulf War committed Australia to that confrontation without going to Parliament and was criticised. Did that concern you? Well, I didn't criticise him at the time. Well, I wasn't one of them. So now the there might be criticism. Well, I will wear that criticism if it comes. Uh, I thought Mr Hawke was right on that occasion and he received the instantaneous support of the then opposition leader and, and the opposition. And, you know, you must bear in mind that um, um, this is an occasion where America must understand that she's got friends. But let me stress, I haven't been uh, requested, and uh, I'm not suggesting we will be, but we have to accept that this is an occasion where we should stand shoulder to shoulder with the Americans, because this is not just an assault on America, it's a, an assault on the way of life that we hold dear in common. Well, I'm uh, expecting to go back to Australia this afternoon. <coughs> the uh, uh, the Americans have uh, uh, offered me a defence aircraft, which will take my uh, official party. I'm sorry that it can't extend for security considerations. No disrespect, to, let me stress immediately, uh, but it can't extend beyond the official party. I I. Okay. Just finish. Um, uh, I'm sorry for that, but um, and I'll be going to Honolulu and then uh, making other arrangements to get home from there. I beg your pardon. Uh, well, I'm not entirely certain at the moment. That could well be the case, but um, uh, you know the situation is still unfolding. Who will, who will accompany you on that? Uh, my official party. Nobody else. And I've been told by uh, the defence authorities that that is how they want it. Do you have in mind... Uh...
Well, increased uh, airport surveillance, uh, uh, all the whole gamut. I mean, you, when something like this happens, you've got to go over everything that you do. Well, that's al it's already been discussed uh, by uh, the um, National Security Committee of Cabinet, and work is already underway. Mr. I beg your pardon? Do you think there'll be implications for the security arrangements for Chogham? Well, the security arrangements for Chogham, Chogham are already very tight. And um, uh, we'll obviously review them again. Um, I'm not suggesting that there's an immediate um, further complication as far as Chogham is concerned. But when something like this happens, you, you go back to basics on uh, all your arrangements. and. Uh, that's essentially what we're going to do with every aspect, and we should, and every other uh, nation that shares values in common with America should do the same. Well, uh, look, I'm not, I'm not ruling anything out, because I do not think that we should delude ourselves that we are in some way immune. No, I don't think we have, but I think there's a tendency We'll get you in a minute, Tony. But we, that is right. now, there's a tendency uh, sometimes for us, and we all like to believe it, and we all think that there's a, a, a patch of the world called Australia which is a little different from everything else, but it's not really, and we have to understand uh, that um, we have to take precautions and accept uh, uh, approaches that we might otherwise not have wanted. Now, Tony. Sorry, thank you. Is this uh, episode... Uh implications for our Look, I'm not seeking in any way to link those two things, Tony. Mr Howard, uh, on Chogham, will you be contacting uh, Prime Minister Blair or any other Commonwealth leaders uh, about that meeting? Well, I haven't uh, got any plans at the moment, but I... Dennis, you, you never rule anything out. I, I, I don't want to be sort of reminded in a couple of days' time that... Yeah, I said I wouldn't, and if I do, I mean, but I don't. I don't have that in mind at the moment, but I might. So when, you, when you did originally come here before this event, the intention was to celebrate the alliance largely. Mm. Your response to the, the very extended applause that you received after your statement? I beg your pardon? What was your, your feeling, your response to the very extended applause that you received? Well, I was, very, I was very touched by it, and it was a demonstration to me of the closeness of the relationship. I think the Americans appreciated the fact that I went there very deliberately. I mean, obviously, uh, because of what has happened, um, uh, we the arrangements for the, my address to the joint sitting were, were naturally cancelled. But I indicated uh, that I wanted to go there and um, to uh, demonstrate by my presence uh, the, the compassion that we felt for the American people and the closeness we felt and the identification with the values for which America stands. I mean, this is a time when you have to stand by people who have the same view on life as you have. You can't have, um, you can't cherry pick a close relationship. Uh, so what's, what's on that score, uh, Prime Minister, if it emerges that uh, this is an example of state-backed terrorism uh, and America decides to take action against a particular state, would Australia consider supporting America militarily in that action? Look, we're not going to, I'm not going to hypothesise, I'm simply going to state the principle uh, that we will render all assistance we can within our capability. That's what I'm saying. So what's your assessment?